Hey guys, how are you today? It's Mo from Programmer Tube. Today I want to show you how to remove duplicates from a sorted array in CC++. So if you're interested, let's jump right into it. Okay, so here I am on Visual Studio. I'm going to create a new project. Click on File, New Project. Make sure you have 132 and then 132 console application selected. And let's call it Remove Duplicates. Click OK. On this page, just click Next. And on this page, we're not going to change anything, so click Finish. OK, so let's see how we can remove duplicates from a sorted array in CC++. We're going to create a function called Remove Duplicates. And we're going to pass in an integer array and also pass in its size, integer size. So the technique I'm going to show you is basically going to be very simple. We're going to walk through all the elements of the array and then try to find the next element that does not equal to the current element and then insert that in place in the same array and keep incrementing our location until we scan all the elements. So let's see how we can do that. First of all, for loop to go over all the elements for integer i equals 0 i is less than size plus plus i so the next thing i'm going to do is check if a of i is not going to be equal to a of the current element so let's define another variable here let's call it previous equals 0 so the first element is 0 so i'm going to compare the two if the a of i is still the same as the one we're currently add that means it's a duplicate so we're going to skip it unless it's not a duplicate in that case what we want to do is basically say a of plus plus previous this is a new element not equal to that duplicate one this is going to be added to our collection so what we're doing here is saying that okay so this is a new element not the same as the previous so add it next to the previous that's why we increment first so that we don't override the first element. This is going to be the second element that we just found. It's not equal to the first element. And we just continue doing that until we scan all the elements in the array. At the end here, now we have all the elements that are unique, starting from zero index. So we want to give back the color, the number of elements, the new size. Simply, we can calculate that as following. Count equals previous plus one. Remember that this is an index and the index is zero based. So if we have 10 elements, this is going to be from zero to nine. So plus one so that we can get the right count, return the count to the caller. And that's how we remove duplicates from this array. So let's test it out inside main. I'm going to define an array. Let's say we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is a sorted array. And now let's add some duplicates. One, one, two, three, four. Just make sure it's sorted. So let's test this one out. I'm going to say integer count equals remove duplicates from my array. Now the size, I don't want to hard code it. I'm going to include Windows at Edge here to use a macro that we've used before. So if you haven't seen this macro before, go back to one of my previous videos. You should be able to learn about how to use this one it's called array size. This gives you the number of elements inside the array. Okay, so now this is supposed to return back the same array with no duplicates in it. So let's print it out. I'm going to say print out, I'll give it I and then A of I. So I just compiled it by using Control Shift B on the keyboard. So let's run it and see how it goes. Control F5 to run this application. And as you can see, now my array has only the unique elements from 1 to 10. So this is pretty much how you remove duplicates from the array. Please don't forget to like my video, subscribe to my channel for more videos, and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching.